At PetSafe, we know you want to give your pets the very best. And typically, this includes providing them a space where they can have some freedom, some exercise, and just be able to be dogs. A great way that you can accomplish this is by offering them a PetSafe kennel. This video will walk you through how to set a kennel up. So we're gonna get started. You will need a friend to help you put this kennel together. So I've asked my buddy Mike to come over and give me a hand. Hey, man. Hey, Robin. Um, there's a couple extra tools you're going to need. You're going to need a half inch wrench and a pair of pliers. Once you have these, you're ready to go. Begin by opening the box. Identify the kennel parts. The rails and connectors of your kennel are each packaged together and separately to make it easy to identify and to install your kennel. Consider the location of your kennel and where you would like your gate to be. Lay out the tubing of your kennel. Begin with the gate location. Assemble the bottom frame of your kennel. Press the button on the connector tube and insert it into the other tube, ensuring that the hole in the tube lines up with the button on the connector. It should lock into place. Connect each of the tubes and ensure they are locked. You are now ready to use your upright poles. Put the special dimpled upright pole on the T connector. This is the location of where your gate will be. Now place the upright pole for the other side of your gate into place. Continue to work around the kennel, adding the upright rails and top frame. We are now going to install the gate. Begin by attaching the hinge. Attach the female hinge to the gate. Attach the male hinge to the dimple tubing. Make sure the bottom hinge faces up and the top hinge faces down. Put the bottom hinge on first, making sure the gate has good clearance. Have a friend hold the gate as you attach the hinge. Then attach the top hinge and check the gate. Ensure your hinges are tight. Next, attach the latch to the gate. The gate latch features the option of being able to be locked with a padlock. Now remove the chain link. It is best to unroll the chain link. Occasionally, during shipping, the knuckles of your chain link can come apart and individual links may get out of alignment. If you find a place where the knuckles are not connected, simply reconnect the knuckles. You may also have to slightly twist the wire picket to be able to reconnect the knuckles. Carefully inspect your chain link, making sure that all knuckles are connected. Once you've finished inspecting the fence, roll the chain link back up. Be careful to roll as straight as possible to make the roll easy to carry. At the end of the chain link fabric, insert a tension rod through the last picket. Attach the chain link to the frame by inserting C-clips, connecting the tension bar to the frame. Align the roll of the chain link fabric facing out. This will allow the fabric to unroll in the same direction and will make it more convenient for you. Many PetSafe kennels have two rolls of chain link fabric. This makes it easier to work with. Be sure that the chain link fabric is stretched tight and secure. This will ensure the safety of your pet. Stretch the fabric as tightly as possible to the corner post. Allow about four inches for the tension rod and the C-clips. Undo the knuckles of the selected picket at the top and bottom. Unweave this picket by twisting or spinning it out. Be careful, the wire ends may be sharp. Using five C-clips, attach the chain link by connecting the tension bar to the corner post. If your kennel has two rolls of chain link, repeat the previous steps for the two sides of the kennel. Once your chain link fabric is tight and secure, use the wire ties provided to secure the chain link to the kennel using every fifth diamond on top and every third diamond on the bottom and three times on each vertical post. It helps to lift the kennel off the ground when attaching the wire ties to the bottom frame. To do this, you can use wood blocks or the box the kennel came in. Taking time to train your dog to being in the kennel 
will make life much easier for you and your neighbors. Kennel training can take several days or weeks depending on your dog's age, maturity level, or aggressiveness. It's important to keep two things in mind while kennel training. The kennel should always be associated with something pleasant, and training should take place in a series of small steps. Don't go too fast. Include lots of toys, fresh water, some treats, and make it fun. You should enjoy the freedom that a pet safe kennel will provide you and your pets. Thank you for choosing PetSafe, and if you have any questions during your installation or afterward, please contact our Customer Care Center.